Hello fish fools, Jeff here. So check out my 40 gallon planted community tank. This is looking a lot more clear and brighter than it has any of the previous time I've shown it. And that's because I finally scraped the diatom algae off the front of the tank. You can still see the side how the sides are by comparison. I just left it there, but it has made a huge difference looking into the tank. I I just let it let the algae spread. So the algae the um auto sinkless that I added in here can raise on it and the snails. But it should still be plenty the rest of the tank clearing off the front. And I did just do a, a water change, and each time I do that, and notice how the water is tinted from tannins from the opani wood I have in here. So it is looking less dark after a water change, and it will gradually dissipate. But I was kind of, well, I mean, I still am liking it like that with a bit of a tint compared to this. 40 gallon, this planted 40 gallon community tank over here. Notice side by side how much this is kind of tea colored compared to this one. But it is less so than it was. It is looking brighter as a result. But so I did just do water changes of this tank and this tank, and I am finally going to add some fish that are in quarantine. It's been a, they've been in quarantine for a while, and I'm gonna finally move them over. So, they've been ready to be moved out of quarantine, but I haven't done so yet for a couple reasons. One being not having a lot of time, but I did want the guppies to have some babies and have the babies grow and kind of spread before I add more fish that will prey upon them, and same with this tank here with the more platies and guppies and lots of them out in the open, just seeing a lot of fry swim around up here, you can notice there's like loose floating duckweed and rickyafluotans after doing the water change, it kind of sp spread around, but that will kind of settle at the top after a day or so. But I have been enjoying these tanks, just watching them with the fish, the live bear is swimming out in the open, and the, the shrimp too. But after I add some more of the community fish in here, it's likely to be a less, like the, the fry, and even the shrimp likely to be less out in the open. But this tank has lots of bushy java moss all filling in along everywhere. A lot like how it was when it was my 30 gallon Ladbury community tank. That's the one that leaked that I upgraded this to. Pretty much the same setup, just moved over. And when I moved, I this tank was new and I set it up. So two 40 gallons side by side. But all right, so let's check out what's gonna be going into these tanks. So here's my quarantine tank. These fish have been in here uh, a couple months or so, and quite a while. So these rasbore, lamb chop rasbores or rasbore espies, I think they may be called those going in the the tannin colored 40 gallon along with this one lone green neon tetra the only one that lasted after, of the 12 that I bought initially and the male neon dwarf gourami and the female those are going to be going to my non tannin tinted 40 gallon, the one on the right side. 
And this Pearl Grammy is going to be going in the 84 gallon, which I have not yet set up, but I may finally get to do that this weekend. I don't want to say for sure, but I try to make that possible. And this black neon tetra, the only one in here, that's going to join the other three in the the tannin tank. And these scissor tail rasbors, those are also going in the 84 gallon tank when I set that up, along with these two rose line sharks and the two rummy nosed tetras looking nice and rummy nosed. I had 11 of them and they had ick and only two of them remain. Got those from Petco. And what else? There is one Corridora in here. There it is. Just kind of scurrying behind plant over here. That's going to go in the one of the 40 gallons. I got six of those, only one of the six survived. That'll be the first corridor to, to join them. And what else? I'm um, forgetting something, aren't I? The white clouds, I might be setting up another tank just for them to try to attempt to breed them. Try to raise their eggs without other Fish. Maybe that's the reason why I haven't been able to breed white clouds. It's supposed to be pretty easy, but probably well, I'm, I'm pretty pretty sure it's just because they haven't had that tank to themselves to do that. And there's the lone brilliant rasbora. I'm not sure if I'm just going to leave it in here or I might bring it over to the 40 gallon for the time being. It is intended to go to my 84 gallon and get a group of those, but since it's one by itself. Because I'm I'm actually kind of torn whether I should even move all of them. Some of like the rose line sharks I might move to my 29 gallon tank because I might clear out this tank entirely and put them in other tanks for the time being before I can move them to the 84 gallon when I set that up because I might want to get some more fish to quarantine and I need to clear out this tank before I can do that. Let's check out the 29 gallon. So here's my 29 gallon swordtail community tank. So this does have one rose line shark in it. So I might just move the two that are in quarantine in here for the time being until I can move them all into, including the one in here with those other two into the 84 gallon and get that along with some more. Cause I, that's one of the things if I get I'm looking to get some more that will go in the quarantine tank. And there is a Pandagara in here. Where is it? There it is on the Anubius. So this is going to move to my 40 gallon tank, the one on the right. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a chance to do that tonight, but maybe, if not tonight, the next time I do a water change on this tank. And I think I'm also going to move this red sword tail into it. That is the kind of a runt compared to the others. There was a time when that was the that was the dominant male sword tail in here. That was before these two were born in here and grew up and took over the top spot. And let's check out another tank. This 10 gallon tank that has filled up with Java moss. I have two Panagars in here, so both of those are going to go move over along with this Julii Corridor. So those are going to go in, in this 40 gallon. So it will be the three Panagars that I have one in the 29 gallon tank and two that were in that 10 gallon along with the one Julie Corridor and the Neon Dwarf Garami male and the female Dwarf Garami will go in here. 
And this 10 gallon has neon tetras. So I'm going to move most, if not all, of those into that 40 gallon. And I am planning on doing a water change on this tank tonight, so I'm going to try to snatch those up all together. So that's what's going on. A lot of moving around, fish from tanks to tanks. Kind of how it is with my I have tanks, all multiple tanks, and some of them have just been sort of holding tanks before moving fish. A lot of that has to do with when I moved, even though that was about almost six months ago now, but when I moved, I, and my 30 gallon that leaked, when I was moving, I just took all the fish out of that and spread them out of different tanks, and I haven't moved them back to their final destination, but that's what's going to, so that's going to happen tonight. So yeah, all right, I'm going to get to moving them, and I'll show them and the new tanks. All right, so I gathered up all the fish in the quarantine tank that are moving in to this 40 gallon. So we have eight of these lamb chop rasboras or rasbora SBs. One black neon tetra to join the other three that are in here, wherever the hell they are. Oh, yeah, they're in there somewhere, and the one. Lone green neon tetra, and where is it? This corridor. This was sold from Petco as a red sailfin Venezuelan corridor. Sailfin red Venezuelan corridor. And this one's been doing great by itself, but the group that I bought at the time six of them they were in rough shape and within all within a couple days they all died except for this one so it's a shame because corridors you like to be in groups but it is as it was in quarantine it was it was pretty active so it will be a nice addition to the tank and i will be i do intend to get other corridors it'll probably not the same species as this it'll just be the one lone one and then, over here, this 40 gallon, we have the dwarf young grammys, the male and the female. And I decided I'm going to skip the neon tetras tonight, maybe tomorrow night, or another time soon. So I'm going to let them acclimate. And then I will release them, and when I do that, we will check them out in their new homes. So stand by. Alright, there's the male Neon Dwarf Garami and the 40 gallon tank. Dig Garamis, how they have those feeler fins. Female, I did see her back behind here somewhere. But yeah, community tank coming along. Some might call something like this a centerpiece fish, but I would refer to it as an accessory fish because the platys are the centerpiece. A bunch of them. This is intended to be a planted ally bear community tank with primarily platys. The secondary would be guppies and then the community fish would I 
which I don't have yet. So those are the these gramis are the first non-library fish to go in this tank. As I mentioned, the neon tetras are going to go in here, the pandagaras, and Julie, the one Julie corridor that I have and others that I will soon be getting and likely auto sinkless when I get some more of those and probably a fish that I haven't even decided on yet. Where's the female? There's the female hiding in the back. So, give her some time to get comfortable, and and she can enjoy her new home. The male seems to be doing just fine right away. All right, let's go right next door to the other forty-gallon tank. So, eight of those are now in here. We'll set them up, gather it up over here. So there's a black neon tetra, I don't know if that's the one I just added, or one of the other three, and there's the lone green neon tetra. Doesn't look a whole lot different than just a regular neon tetra where it's just more blue than red. Just depending on the lighting, how you can see it. There's the honey grammy. Added that. That was in added, I don't know, a little while back. I did see the Oh, we do are scurrying around, but I lost it. So there's a little guppy fry. So now with more. Oh, there's a corridor. Nice and active. Sometimes corridors, if it's you know, if they're not in a group, they're not very active, but this this one's been active the entire time in the quarantine tank, and looks like he's not slowing down. Yeah, this tank's looking pretty awesome. And so is this. So yeah, more to come, more fish transfers, and. 84 gallon tank coming up and strong possibility of a sizable online fish order because there's some fish from Aquahuna a bunch that I want to get like Durby Corridors, Julie Corridors, Panagaras, Roseline Sharks, Romino's Tetras I don't know if I can get them all at once, all to, that many in quarantine, but we'll see. And plus, it's, I mean, here it's in the 90s now, here in southern Nevada. I couldn't really do any, do it in the summer when it was blazing hot, 110 degrees. I mean, it's still probably too hot, but I'm not sure if I might wait a little bit longer. But, yeah. Alright. Well, that's it for now. And remember, I'm Jeff, and I enjoy fishies. Thanks for watching.